Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. I just want to do a bit of an analysis on why Australia wasn't able to catch up against Serbia in basketball uh, from a calculus uh, perspective because um, that's what we're currently teaching at school right now. So you can see here the score between Australia and Serbia at the end of each quarter. So at the end of the first quarter, Serbia was winning 16 to 5, so they were only winning by um, not 11 points. Okay, the difference here was only 11 points, and then it got larger and larger, and it shrunk a little bit in the fourth quarter, the difference between the two teams' scores. So in the end, we lost by um, 26 points. So let's talk a little bit about what happened from a calculus perspective and I want to introduce you guys to the rate of change which is something that you hardly ever see in the statistics for basketball and I want to uh, find the value of the rate of change of the points that each team scores per minute. Okay, I want to find out how many points can a team score per minute? And let's do the first quarter first. So in quarter one, in the first quarter, which is only 10 minutes, okay, for Australia, we scored five points for five points over 10 minutes. So if you do five divided by 10, that's only 0 0.5 points per minute. So we were scoring half a point per minute. Now let's look at Serbia. Okay, so Serbia, Serbia, they got 16 points over 10 minutes. So their overall rate of change of points per minute in points per minute is. Um, 16 divided by 10 which is 1.6 points per minute so that's how much uh, that's how fast Serbia was increasing their score so rate of change in points per minute you can think of as how fast your points are increasing right how fast points are increasing against time and Serbia was already doing better than Australia now let's do the first two quarters so the first two quarters at the end of the second quarter okay so at the end of the second quarter we've already played 20 minutes of um, 20 minutes of the game and Australia has scored how much we scored um, 14 points in total 14 points in 20 minutes so what is our rate of change? We were only um, scoring at a rate of 0 0.7 points per minute, right? Because if you think about it, 20 minutes has gone past, we only got 14 points in total. So that means we only got, we were only scoring at a speed of 0 0.7 points per minute. Now if you look at Serbia, they've scored in by the end of the second quarter in total they've scored 35 points so they got 35 points in 20 minutes which means they were scoring uh, on average in the first one and in the first quarter and the second quarter their rate of change is 1.75 points per minute okay that's how fast they were scoring now we've already done 20 minutes of the game so that means we only have 20 minutes left so let's say hypothetically okay let's say we don't have the score yet we we're at the end of the second quarter okay and you wanted to do a mathematical analysis there's 20 minutes remaining okay there's only 20 minutes remaining and Serbia was already leading by how many points? Serbia was on 35, Australia is on 14, so Serbia is leading by 35 minus 14, which is 21 points. 
Okay, so in order for Australia to catch up in the last 20 minutes, okay, what we'll need to do is let's assume that Serbia continues to score at the same rate. So if Serbia continues to score at 1.75 points per minute, they have 20 minutes, so 1.75 points per minute times 20 minutes plus the score they have uh, leading already. So put that in the calculator, 1.75 times 20 plus 21. So they got, we got 51, 56 points to catch up on, okay, because Australia has to get the 21 points that we're already behind and they're going to keep scoring, okay, Serbia is not just going to sit there and let Australia score, so they're going to keep scoring at 1.75 points per minute, assuming hypothetically they're still playing that well and they got 20 minutes, so that means in the next 20 minutes remaining in the third and fourth quarter, we've got to catch up 56 points so we've got to catch up 56 points in 20 minutes so 56 so Australia has to score at a rate of 56 points divided by all right we only have 20 minutes left so what's that 2.8 points per minute Okay, we have to increase from, okay, what was our points? We have to increase from 0 0.7 to 2.8, all right? We've got to be scoring four times, four times our original rate um, if we wanted to even out Serbia's score, which is, you know, nearly impossible uh, at that point in time. So yeah, that's my brief mathematical uh, analysis of the game as to why we couldn't catch up against Serbia. Feel free to throw in any more ideas, but thought I'd talk about this concept of rate of change because it's not mentioned in the stats very often how many points per minute the team each team is scoring. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.